Yo, it's your boy Smoke, and welcome back to another Madden video. Today's video, episode 6 of the Las Vegas Raiders gameplay franchise. Now, we are facing the Houston Texans in this um, episode, and if you guys missed last episode, episode 5, link in the description will be for that, where we face the Kansas City Chiefs. As you see right here, our record is 3-2. and two. We are second in the AFC West, with the Chargers being 5-1 and one and first in the AFC West. As I said earlier, we're facing the Houston Texans, so I feel like we'll be able to get a win here. But you never know until you know. Before we go ahead and get into everything, make sure you guys go to leave a like and subscribe. All right, we got kickoff right here. The Texans are getting the ball first, and they go ahead and touch it back. So they're getting the ball at the 25-yard line. Dave, Davis Mills, honestly, he has not been as bad as people would expect this season, but he's obviously like not a great quarterback. Uh, Raiders defense definitely has its moments, though, so who knows? Four-yard completion right there for Davis Mills. I think I'm going to be using Denzel Perryman right here. I know, or Jayon Brown, I guess. And we're going to go and stop Damian Pierce really short right there. Neg negative four yards for Damian Pierce right there. Damian Pierce has been having an amazing rookie season. He's uh, one of the top contenders for Offensive Rookie of the Year so far. So he is like the juggernaut to the Texans offense. Right there, Davis Mills is going to go ahead and get a dot, just barely get the first down for the Texans. So that kind of sucks right there. I really thought we were going to make him punt right away. Going to use your Jay on Brown on the man coverage of Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce is going to go ahead and get some positive yards this time. Or he got around nine. It is now third and 13. Using Jayon Brown again. And we're going to go get to Davis Mills. The pressure from Chandler Jones and Davis Mills was a, barely able to throw that one away. So we are still making them punt. Chandler Jones real life in real life has not done much so far. But a very, very good pressure by him right there. The return is going to be from Amir Adula. And we're just going to go ahead and get maybe five yards on the return. Not much. All right, now the Raiders offense is coming out at the 22-yard line. And we're going to go throw this one to Josh Jacobs on the Texas route. And that's going to be around 8, 9 yards. Honestly, should have threw that a little bit earlier so we had some room for the run after the catch. But we got 9 yards. I don't, I don't care that much. Still got 9 yards. We're going to go and look. And I think we're going to connect with Devontae Adams on the slant right there. Devontae Adams just, ah, oh God, I just love having him on my team. The dude gets open so much, so much. Like, um, mid, when we get midseason and we look at all our all the stats, like I guarantee Devontae Adams will be top three in the receiver stats. Going to go and run mesh here. Devontae Adams again on the underneath route, and he's going to go ahead and get himself around 20, 25 yards around there. Maybe, maybe 30, honestly. But yeah, Devontae Adams getting a good chunk of yards again. We're going to go and run here for the first time. Josh Jacobs. He's not able to get much, but that's mainly due to the blocking. But still able to get two yards when he was met at the line of scrimmage. So, all right, we're gonna go do like a kind of an outside uh, zone run right here. Josh Jacobs, he's got the speed to burn uh, whoever that was ninety on the Texans. He's got the speed for that. So very good running by Josh Jacobs right there. So we get the first down, and we are now on the five yard line, and. We're going to go and run this play right here because I see my man, Devontae Adams, on a slant. And he was honestly open, but I didn't see it at first. And there was pressure right in my face, so could have thrown it, but I did not. I think we're going to just go and run a similar play again, to be honest. Just Devontae Adams on the slant. Devontae Adams is really good and slants are really cheesy and mad. And Devontae Adams, and he is open. So, Derek Carter, Devontae Adams, the first touchdown of the game. Um, very good drive for Derek Carr right there. I think he had over, like, 70 yards passing. Um, so, really good drive for Derek Carr. Extra point is good. So, we are good right here. Texans get the ball back. Chandler Jones has his X Factor on already. And it is third and three. We were going to send a blitz, but I audible out of it. And Davis was going to throw it. And that is intercepted by Nate Hobbs. I feel Nate Hobbs is one of the most underrated corners in the NFL. So Nate Hobbs with a very good interception right there. 
We're going to go. We get the ball. We see Darren Waller immediately, and we go ahead and pass Darren Waller on the corner route. So what a start to the game. We go ahead. We get a passing touchdown, and then we force an interception, and then we go up, go ahead and find Darren Waller on the corner for the touchdown. Derek Carr is having a really good game so far. And so was the defense. All right, using Denzel Perryman. Going to go and try to get Damian Pierce. And that honestly should have been should have been a big-time reception, if not a touchdown for the Texans. Uh, Damian Pierce was just too fast for Denzel Perryman right there. But Davis Mills was on the overthrow. But Davis Mills is able to connect right here, making it third and three. But not going to lie, that, that play scared me. Uh, Damian Pierce could have easily gotten a touchdown out of that play. All right, using Denzel Perryman as the user against Rex Burkhead's in there for some reason. They should keep Damian Pierce in there. A lot of pressure getting into Davis Mills, though, and I think that is by old Nichols with the sack. Normally not the name you expect to hear. You normally expect to hear Max Crosby or Chandler Jones, but no, by old Nichols. I do got to say, Max Crosby hasn't been bad so far in this gameplay franchise, but you, you, I have not said his name as much as I thought I would because, well, he's the biggest name on the Raiders' defense, so... You would expect to hear it more often, but just haven't. Give it to Josh Jacobs here. He's a, a get, Once again, he's getting met like as soon as he touches the ball. Not great blocking right there. You know whose name that I have said a lot on the defensive side of the ball? Rocky Hassan. He has three interceptions already. Go ahead and throw it out to Josh Jacobs right here, and he's able to get maybe five, six yards. But, yes, Rocky Hassan, we just got to show appreciation to him right now. Three interceptions and one pick six already in the season. All right, third and four, we are in shotgun formation. Derek Carr takes the snap. No one open, but I try to force the ball to Mac Hollins right there, but it is easily contested. And I didn't realize that was the end of half. We easily could have kicked a field goal to make it 17-0. But, uh, yeah, I just realized that was the end of half. Uh, we're able to connect with Devontae Adams right there, but I don't care too much about the three points. I mean, we're, we're still winning 14-0, and we're about to get another touchdown because after half, we just marched down the field on them. Um going to go ahead and do the uh this version of kind of a rollout um and we go ahead and connect with foster monroe so touchdown right there Derek carr's third passing touchdown of the day foster monroe his first receiving touchdown i think of the season if not his own only a second but we have now taken the lead 21 to 0 still so yes <laughs> like i predicted earlier in the video we are stomping the texans damon pierce on the toss right there and that is a big tackle for loss for max crosby right there it's about time he shows up and that was a huge tackle for loss max crosby showing up in the run game it is third and ten davis mills is going to sell this out of bounds now it's fourth and ten and there's a raiders fan holding a sign saying this is our year maybe in the video game but sure as hell not in real life it is not the raiders year in real life all right third and ten in shotgun formation on the, the on pretty much on the logo yeah almost the 50 yard line going to put hunter run for on a slant just see if he's open Devontae adams burns his man right off the release and that is go ahead and that's going to be a touchdown for Derek carr to Devontae adams the second touchdown with that duo today it is 28 to 0 it is almost the game's almost over but the texans finally are able to generate some offense in there near our and they're in the red zone now I don't really care that much if they score, but it would have been nice to have a shutout. That would have been for damn sure. Could have made a nice thumbnail or title out of that one, but I'm not going to get greedy. So go ahead. The Texans get a passing touchdown right there. Davis Mills to Philip Dorsett. Um, then they, then they're going to attempt the extra point, but it's still 728. We are still curve stomping the Texans. All right, guys. Um, we got the ball with, well, with like four minutes left, but we chewed some clock and of course we're going to do the Russell West Westbrook stat pad, you know, Russell Westbrook stat pads for triple doubles. So we're going to go and stat pad for our Madden franchise, Derek Carr to Devontae Adams, the third touchdown of that duo today, Derek Carr, five passing touchdowns, Derek Carr is having himself a game and so is Devontae Adams. This is what they should be doing in real life, but they're fucking disappointments in real life, apparently. Judging by that Saints game, 
that was rough to watch. But anyway, I digress because we just kicked the Texans' ass. All right, let's go ahead and go over the stats. Derek Carr with 146 rating, uh, 256 yards, five passing touchdowns. Davis Mills with one passing touchdown, one interception. And I think that only says 81 yards. Yeah, only 81 yards somehow. Josh Jacobs with 81 yards rushing. So Josh Jacobs and Davis Mills had the same amount of yards in passing or rushing. Damian Pierce, not as good as you think he would do, especially against the horrible Raiders defense. Uh, Only 40 yards for Damian Pierce. Devontae Adams, this guy had himself a game. 156 yards, three receiving touchdowns. Darren Waller, four receptions, 62 yards, and a receiving touchdown. Philip Dorsett got a receiving touchdown. Josh Jacobs got two receptions for 15 yards. Foster Monroe got one reception for three yards, but it was a touchdown. Hunter Renfro continues to have a quiet, um, quiet, I guess, season so far in this gameplay franchise, as he has in real life. The sack was Bio Nichols, yes, and the interception was Nate Hobbs. And the tackles for loss, Bio Nichols with two, Max Crosby with one. Uh, Jayon Brown with one and Chandler Jones with one. All right, guys, that's around the end of the video. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe.